Today we're going to show how to run uh, a Nintendo emulator on your iPhone. And uh, here it is. And it'll show all the games that you have. That they need to be uh, .NES ROMs. And I can't provide you the link where to get them, but if you find them on your own, I'll show you how to add them. For those familiar with iPhone modding, um, you'll recognize this program, Manzana, which is a drag and drop program which shows all the files that are on the iPhone if it's hooked up to your computer. And um, I'm just going to show you right here and delete my Nintendo app that I have right now just so I can add a new one using iBreaker. I hit yes. And it'll disappear once I restart the phone. That icon in the fourth row will be gone. And you can see it's back to its original state. Okay, for starters, we're going to want to make a new folder for where we can put a iBreaker, so we'll just call it iBreaker. And it's just empty folder currently. And then you're going to need to go to the address shown at the bottom of the screen and hit download. Today, August 30th, the newest version is 0.8. And you can open or save. And we're just going to save it to iBreaker. That's not needed, but this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to open up the iBreaker folder and then the iBreaker zip. And you can either go to Extract To and then select the folder that we just made or you can right click on it and hit click Extract Here. But, uh, see it showed up here. And iBreaker.exe. And uh, if you have already run Jailbreak, it'll bring you to the screen that says Ready to Rock Applications. And uh, it'll say before we can play, you need to install the PXL daemon on your phone. And you're going to select Install. Now, okay, and now it'll tell us to restart our phone. You need to um, power it off, power it back on. And then once that's done, you hit OK. Or, sorry, continue. OK, it's finished, so we're going to hit continue. It says shuffling around more files. All right. OK. That just said my the iPhone camera is connected to my computer. Now it says restart again by pressing, holding the power button. Like we just did before. Once it finishes powering back up, we're going to press check for PXL. Phone is powered back on and we are brought back to the iBreaker screen and you can select um, browse applications and it will bring you to a list of all available PXL files and today we're going to be, any. it works the same way for all of these, however we're going to be using the NES by Nate True. Right now it's revision 99.7 we're going to just select download, it says downloading please wait okay and just went straight from here right to your iPhone however if you manually do it it can take much longer and you'll have to set permission but this way is much easier for beginners alright now we have to do ROMs okay we're going to select Upload NES ROM 
and um, you have to obtain your own ROMs but um, I have mine located in a folder on my desktop and you can just select the ones you want to do uh, in our case we'll just do Mario why not hit uploading and it believe it's sent it right to your phone oh it sent all of them to my phone and you can see right here sent the games to my phone and the only difference is when you manually do it you can set the name just like any other of these uh, icons have names on it like photos camera it says NES because that's the name given from the PXL file now we can we can see the NES emulator you can change that icon and any other icon using Manzana or a similar program alright we're just gonna load up uh, Final Fantasy works either way uh, any game There's no limit besides the amount of space on your phone. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on AIM, uh, WJP09. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you want. Uh, I'll be happy to help you out.